even emotional stress uh, can lead to hair fall, but usually this is three months after you have that stress. A lot of this type of hair fall is temporary. It's usually triggered three months after some kind of stress happens in your life. And say, you know, maybe there's a death in your family, you know, you're having a big move or even if you had surgery or anesthesia, it's usually one of the reasons for hair fall, having a fever or infection. Even emotional stress uh, can lead to hair fall, but usually this is three months after you have that stress. Let's say you, you know, you had a big move say in January, so you probably will start seeing hair fall from March, April. You'll notice a lot more hair fall, for example. That would be something because, like I said, when your hair is resting, it's resting for about three months before it starts shedding and a new hair replaces itself. So what usually happens in this type of hair fall is when you're stressed out for longer periods of time or even short periods of time, when everything is targeted towards fighting that stress or that infection or that problem. The resources, the blood supply uh, is shifted. It's not given as much importance to the hair and the skin uh, as much as it would give to someone else.